Getting a speeding ticket is never a good thing, but there are ways to avoid one. This doesn't mean that you should go out there and speed. No. Anybody who watches my <laughs> program knows that's not what we advocate. However, I did a ride along today with the Sheriff Department Sergeant who breathed some insight into what he looks at before issuing that ticket. Get ready for another wild ride on this week's Streets of Speed. This sound is typically not good news for someone 37 and a 25 who's been speeding. But the siren doesn't always have to signal a ticket. The speed limit is 25 enforceable when the uh, yellow lights are on. Did you see the yellow lights? No. Attitude and honesty play a role on traffic stops with Daniel Gomez, a Cameron County Sheriff's Department sergeant. First of all, let me start by saying, is everything okay? There's no emergency or anything like that? No, I just got a pain. I've been sick since about three semanas. Go. Everything's all right? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's not that he doesn't ticket drivers who put the public at risk, like in these Los Fresno CISD school zones. The sergeant just likes to give the benefit of the doubt. Most of them is based on their driving record, and what's the willful intent? Adon Rodriguez is pulled over for speeding near Los Fresno's elementary school along Highway 100. He's polite, answers the sergeant's questions directly, and walks away with a courtesy warning. Do you recognize yep. you were going fast? Right. Like I say, I'm sorry. And Janie Guajardo is busted on police radar, speeding 37 in a 25 near Osaka Middle School on FM 1575. The substitute teacher says she's having a bad day. I usually am very careful about these things, and today was just one of those days that my mind was somewhere else. Her driving record helps the situation. Sergeant Gomez says her last traffic citation, 2004. Janie's in luck. However, keep in mind, you're not always going to give the, get the warning. This is officer's discretion. Do you understand? Yes, sir. The sergeant shares with the speed zapper some inside information on who wouldn't be eligible for a break. We will not show that same leniency with people that show a history of reckless driving or, or a history of, of uh, constant speeders. The only surefire way to avoid a ticket, don't speed. You know what we say to that. You've been zapped. My thanks to actor Danny Trejo right there for that cameo. Now keep in mind most law enforcement agencies have different protocols when it comes to traffic stops and citations. Tonight's tips should be used as a guide. Speeders, you've been zapped. I chat live with viewers each and every newscast to share a street. If you'd like to see zapped or perhaps a story idea for future consideration or just say hello, search Ryan Wolf on my Facebook page. I look forward to hearing from you.